Hey, Yuri here. I'm down at Marin's offices picking up some goodies for the 2010 season. I'm um, also making some plans for, for my race, racing, and uh, getting excited for, for what's coming up in uh, 2010. I look forward to uh, sharing more video blogs with you guys. Uh, this winter I did a lot of cross racing. I was racing my Pine Mountain 29er in the local Pilocito series and ended up heading up to Cross Nats, Snowy Cross Nats up in Bend. Uh, brought the Cortina as well as my Pine Mountain 29er and uh, battled it out in the snow and the mud up there. Finished 23rd out of a field of 130 single speeders. I think I was the, the top mountain biker. Um, and I actually think my Pine 29er was, was an advantage on that course because it was so icy and the corners were super slick and it was really hard to, uh, to navigate the twists and turns in the infield there. So um, the Pine was definitely an advantage over a true cross bike for that race. Super excited about my first race, which will be the 24 hours of the Old Pueblo. I'm going to be competing there on a four-man single-speed team. All of us will be decked out on 2010 Pine Mountains. Um, I've assembled quite the crew to go down there and challenge the, the geared riders. I've got Nat Ross, a uh, longtime national endurance pro out of Golden, Colorado. Travis McMasters, solid racer out of Arizona. And then Keith Marchando, NorCal local hard man. Uh, we're going to go down there and, and shake the tree as best as we can and try to get on the podium uh, with the geared riders. Uh, following that, I'm going to be returning to the Keysville Classic, one of the sort of SoCal classics that's been happening for over 21 years. I will be contesting the single speed category there, which I um, was fortunate enough to win last year on my Pine Mountain. Following that, uh, in early April, I will be doing a NorCal uh, endurance special, the Boggs eight hour race, another race that I contested on my Pine Mountain single speed and won last year. Uh, I will be returning to the Arizona Whiskey Off Road 50 miler, um, another single speed event. So I think you're seeing a little bit of a theme here. Uh, I'm going to be riding my, my Pine Mountain probably more than any of my gear bikes, definitely way more than any of my gear bikes this year. Um, it's one of my favorite bikes to ride. Uh, following that, uh, we have Sea Otter. And I will be guiding blind mountain biker Bobby McMullen. Uh, that was, I did it last year, and it was um, probably one of the most rewarding experiences that I've ever had uh, as a rider, as a racer on a bike, watching uh, what he did out there and accomplished. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to doing that again. And then it'll be some NorCal things. Um, Downeyville is on the, on the slate for, for later in July. And uh, after that... I'm, I'm, I'm still piecing together other, other, other bits of my, my 2010 season. So if any of you out there in, uh, in web land have any questions for me, you know, maybe about my leg shaving techniques, how I deal with eight-year-olds because I'm a school teacher, what it's like to be on a 24-hour team, uh, feel free to, to contact me through the blog, um, and I'll do my best to answer any and all of your questions, uh, no matter how appropriate or inappropriate they are. Um, but uh, I look forward to interacting with you guys and uh, answering anything that you might have uh, on your mind.